Chris here. I'm back from uh, my little sojourn. Oh my God, I have to tell you everything that, um, when I'm gonna stand here by the light because it's nicer. Um, I have to tell you everything that happened today. So I went up the piazza and um, um, Antonello and Bonnie came with me and, and we you know, looked at these houses for my friend who's coming, which is really, really cool. There's so much available. And I'll tell you something, if you go through the property websites, uh, you're probably gonna pay way too much because we did and um, found out that you don't have to. Antonella knows where everything is and he'll show you the properties. It goes straight from person to person. So you don't have to worry about all that stuff. Um, when you do make the purchase in, in Italy, you have what's called a notaio. He goes through every single line by line of the contract, make sure everybody's on the same page, everybody knows what they're getting into and nobody gets ripped off. So um, I would suggest that if you want to uh, buy anything in, in Santa Domenica specifically. Um, just go through Antonello. He's the town architect. He has um, a lot of motivation to get get the, the village uh, back to its beauty, original beauty. So anyway, um, long story short, he took us up to the top of the um, the back of the village where the original piazza was. And I didn't realize that, but that was the original piazza. Now we have this big new one that's really pretty with all the the flowered tiles and it's just gorgeous but in the back is where the trees are there's sweeping views of the mountains it's it's gorgeous and there's other palazze up there that are really nice um and this one was really unusual i mean it's a massive building it goes almost a full block long um and he, and he said oh it's got i don't even know how many square meters or feet it is it's just freaking giant you know two or three levels and then it's got a courtyard and then the stables are underneath that was really cool so um so anyway he takes us up to this building and and you walk in and it hasn't been touched since like the 1960s but even before that it wasn't touched much at all so you just walk into 1800s um Grand Sojourno, which is the uh, living room, you know, like the area where they um, entertained. And then the balconies look out onto the piazza beyond where there's a beautiful tree and then all that. So um, he, Antonello gave us like this whole historical background of not only the house, but how things were back then. Um, there's pictures inside the house of the people who owned it. And it's just amazing, this whole slice of history that I got from this guy. I wish I could remember it all in the years, you know, but inside my head I'm going, okay, uh, cento, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, remember, you know, the numbers. I'm trying to translate, and then I'm trying to tell Bonnie what it is. So it's a little bit, uh, I lost all the numbers in any case. Um, he has written a book. I'm going to get it. I'm going to read it, and I'm going to um, write about it because it's a fascinating history. Um, which brings me to another thing. So Salvatore yesterday, the, the builder, uh, he and Antonella gave me um, a, a tour of the, the ruin next door, which is part of our house, which was a palazzo. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna turn this around because our house is very different than other houses here in Santa Domenica. It's, it's got big rooms. The other ones are very small and you can see this grand arch here. There we go. This grand arch. Now that wall wasn't there. This whole place was just all open and the whole top floor was just an open, beautiful, open plan thing. Here, this wall, there's going to be an arch. Where's my finger? A big arch that goes through and on the other side is our ruin. Okay, and then you have this little entry hall right here. There's going to be a stairway, doot, 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 doot. and it's going to go up to the roof terrace on top, which we're going to put on, which will be very nice. Um, so, I mean, it may not be a giant palazzo, but it's going to bring it back a little bit to its original beauty. And Antonello knows how all these things were. He knows how to put them back with the beauty and charm that they had, but modern and um, structured so that everything is good. You know, we talked about... Uh, earthquakes. We don't get a lot of them here, but it's good to make sure that everything's all solid. And so he's got it all set up to where it's it's really um, safe. Uh, anyway, the place next door, okay, which is sort of attached to the other side of our ruin, um, I was getting a tour of it because I'm kind of looking at things. And um, Salvatore said that he's he was on the other side of the village um, doing some building projects there, taking down a wall, and he found a head, <laughs> like a head. Uh, very old. I said, did it smell? He said, no, it was too old. I think he found a skull, maybe. I don't know. He didn't say skull. He said head. Una testa. Decapitata. Um, 
Okay, so that brings up something. Whose head was it? How did it get there? I, I was just all night last night. I was going, whose head? Why? How? What? You know? So I was talking to Antonello today, and he said, the only thing that makes sense is that this place used to be overrun with brigands and pirates and things like that. Um, and the brigands used to take an example of somebody and cut off their head and then stick it up on a pike, which sounds kind of familiar, but this was literally stick it on a pike. So... Because I said to him, Salvatore, where's the body? And he said, I don't know. I think they used it in the soup. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, ew, I'm not having soup here. Um, so anyway, <laughs> so anyway, uh, Antonello then tells me that the body is probably in the cemetery because the family probably put it there. And the family probably took the head and put it in the wall. He used a word which I thought was very cool in Italian. It was uh, in walled, like in Muriata or something like that. But I didn't know there was a word, but I guess there is. So anyway, so they stuck it in the wall and Salvatore found it. I don't know where it is now. Maybe it's in the church. They have a whole thing underneath the church where there's a bunch of skulls from people um, who died during the plagues. So much history here. Anyway, I had a massive history lesson. Um, the top part of the village, which I'm going to give you a little video tour later, next to that piazza, there's like a little corso that runs down, and it's all cobblestone and really, really pretty. And he said, that's where all the shops were, like the shoe sh shops and the butcher shops. And that's where people shop. Like the village is sort of upside down as to what it once was. It once was... You know, now everything, you know, on the piazza level is where the shops are and everybody hangs out in the cafe and it's very beautiful and it's lovely and we love it. But it used to be all in the top and then you walked down through the little alleyways and that's where all the shops were. Now there's houses, there's beautiful apartments. I mean, it's just gorgeous up there and it was so great to get a beautiful history lesson. So anyway, I could go on for days about the wonder of this beautiful village. Um, I can tell you that there are properties available here. I don't get anything from referring you. I just want to have um, the dream of this place revitalized and filled with artists and filled with wonderful people who all can appreciate life um, to be together. And I think that's what uh, Antonella wants. That's what my friend Gerardo wants. Um, it, it's just such a special place. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can find that head. I want a picture of that head. If I do, I'll, I'll, send you, <laughs> I'll send you a copy. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to start writing some blog material on this and everything else. So it's very cool. Uh, I know this was long-winded, but I'll tell you something. I could go on for days about the, the history and the beauty of this place. Um, but I'll stop, and I'll probably uh, send you another video soon. All right, take care. Bye.